Bertrade de Montfort was the daughter of Simon I de Montfort and Agnes, Countess of Avray. Her brother was Amory de Montfort. According to the chronicler John of Marmoutier, the lecherous Falk then fell passionately in love with the sister of Amory de Montfort, whom no good man ever praised save for her beauty. Bertrade and Falk were married, and they became the parents of a son, Falk, but in 1092 Bertrade left her husband and took up with King Philip I of France. Philip married her on May 15, 1092, despite the fact that they both had spouses living. He was so enamoured of Bertrade that he refused to leave her even when threatened with excommunication. Pope Urban II did excommunicate him in 1095, and Philip was prevented from taking part in the First Crusade. Astonishingly, Bertrade persuaded Philippe and Falk to be friends. Children, with Falk IV, Count of Anjou, Falk of Jerusalem, Count of Anjou and King of Jerusalem, with Philip I of France, Philip of France, Count of the Monts, Fleury of France, Seigneur of Nangis, Cecile of France, married Hankert, Prince of Galilee, married Pons of Tripoli. Later life, according to Audric Vitalis, Bertrade was anxious that one of her sons succeed Philip, and sent a letter to King Henry I of England asking him to arrest her stepson Louis. Audric also claims she sought to kill Louis first through the arts of sorcery, and then through poison. Whatever the truth of these allegations, Louis succeeded Philip in 1108. Bertrade lived on until 1117. William of Malmesbury says, Bertrade, still young and beautiful, took the veil at Fontec Broad Abbey, always charming to men, pleasing to God, and like an angel. Her son from her first marriage was Falk V of Anjou who later became King of Jerusalem or Oxorus. The dynasties founded by Falk's sons ruled for centuries, one of them in England, the other in Jerusalem.